Here's a really brief message on how to upload videos either from Adobe Premiere Rush or um, Adobe Spark videos um, or just general videos on your device to YouTube or Vimeo. I'll talk about YouTube but Vimeo is going to be a similar sort of process. If you haven't got your own free account with YouTube or Vimeo yet, you do need to sign up for one and then sign into that account and you can have more than one if you want to and that's where you will upload your videos to. In the top right hand corner of the YouTube page, you'll see the little video sign with a plus on it as in the top left corner of this one. When you click on it, it gives you these two options down below either to upload a video or to go live. So you're choosing upload video. Once you click to do that, you need to find where you've downloaded the file to, whichever folder you've got it in. Um, as it's processing, it'll give you the option for which type of uh, thumbnail image you want over it. So it'll suggest three from the video itself, but if you're not happy with those, you can always do a little snip picture, um, save that picture onto your machine and upload that as the optional uh, thumbnail. As you're waiting for it to upload, you've got the opportunity to write some comments and fill in little boxes um, just so that you're ready to finalize it all. It's also saved by default to public so that anyone can find it on your YouTube account. If you don't want that, don't click on private because only you will be able to see that. What you need to do is to click unlisted and that way nobody can find it, only those who have your link. Then once it's uploaded and processed, you'll see it showing with the thumbnail picture that you've chosen for it. Then on this screen, where you see the word share, uh, click on that and you'll get a URL link so you can send a URL link or if you're embedding it into a Spark page, you just put the URL link in there. Or if you want to put it onto Moodle, you can then grab the embed code and fully embed it into that. And remember, the law from 2020 onwards says that our educational videos need to have the option for closed caption or subtitles. So once you upload to YouTube or Vimeo, they automatically generate these for you, whereas Adobe Rush or Spark don't do that. So you need to upload your videos to, say, YouTube, and then um, after a little while, the closed caption facility is available and people just need to click the CC. Just by doing all of that, you are going to be such happy bunnies because it's so easy to do all of this, but a great achievement and uh, great to see the final projects. Have fun.